Is this even, is this, all right, is this uh, working? I, I think this is, yeah, I think this is working. I'm not too sure. Um, hey guys, I don't even know where to start. Um, what do I even do? What do I even say? I haven't done this in like a while. Like, I don't even know, like, I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, uh, I sort of just, I guess, been busy with life and school which i'll get into but yeah just sort of really i guess neglected this channel because i just was trying to like explore other different things that life has to offer you know what i mean um <laughs> that sounds so cliche i swear like you know how you know how youtubers are taking like a break and they're always like oh god i wanted to take a break you know i've been exploring life lately i want to see what life has to offer uh i've been getting into this i've been getting into xyz you know, I haven't enjoyed YouTube in a while, like that stuff. I mean, to be fair, my upload schedule is pretty non-existent. I don't even know why I mentioned upload schedule because I don't have a schedule of me uploading on this channel. I just really do it whenever I feel like it. But at the same time, this has been the longest gap I've had of me uploading on this channel. So right now it's like already like almost done with summer by the time I'm recording this. And I'm about to enter my fifth year of college, which by the way, is crazy for me to think that, you know, I'm already in my fifth year. Like, it feels like yesterday that I started college and already this is gonna be like my fourth video of me you know going over semester review which is what this video is going to be about so yeah let's just get straight into it so my fourth semester was from January to May of 2023 <sighs> it was an interesting semester a lot of things learned um, it kind of reminded me of my second semester on campus but in some good ways and some bad ways. It felt like my second semester because I was sort of down bad in multiple different ways. I was pulling all nighters almost every week like I used to do back then. But also at the same time, I somewhat liked pulling all nighters. But then whenever I tried to pull an all nighter, it would be like four or five o'clock and I'd be tired. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just nap for one hour. And then I wake up and it's like 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Like I'm going back to my old ways. So that's why I say I was down bad during that time. However, I still feel like my second semester is still my worst semester on campus for many reasons. At least with my fourth semester, I was still going to classes. I was still going out quite a bit. I still had like a diet. I wasn't eating junk food the entire time. Like during my second semester, that was my worst semester because not only was I not going out, not only was I just staying inside all the time, which actually those two mean the same thing, but I was also at my lowest, actually not even my lowest, my highest point technically in that I weighed the most amount I've ever done in my life. But I mean, I lost weight and that was the one thing I told myself that I was going to maintain, which is at least I'm going to be healthy, at least I'm going to, you know, be active, at least I'm going to go on runs or whatnot, I don't know. But anyway, my point is, I was sort of going back to my old ways during semester four, but at the same time, there's quite a few life lessons that I learned during that time. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single point as that would just take a really long time and I'm also on a bit of a time constraint, but I would say like, you know, a couple of the good things I did was I wasn't just focusing entirely on my classes. I was in a couple clubs, I actually had a couple competitions and those competitions were actually the highlight of my semester and the experience that I gained from doing those clubs really paid off for me. I actually traveled a little bit, which was really cool. However, there were some bad things to this semester like i said before i didn't really have that good of a schedule i would pull all nighters all the time and i was sort of going back to my old ways i also got played a couple times this semester and uh that's sort of why i felt i was really down bad But you know what, to every downside, there's always an upside. And every time I got played, I'd always learn from it and sort of benefit from it. Now, one thing I will say is that even though I don't recommend pulling all-nighters all the time, one particular all-nighter I can recall, I remember that one night I was working on an assignment for a class and I also had a lot of things going on. So for some reason, I tend to go through a long race of thoughts just going through my head at midnight, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. And I decided to take action upon this. So so during one all-nighter in particular, I just took out a piece of paper and I wrote down all the things that are going to be due soon in terms of assignments. Then I wrote down all the things that I want to do. I wrote down all the things I want to do on a daily basis, all the things that I want to do, you know, overall. It was a very important all-nighter. I was there like, you know, what if I started doing this instead of this? What if I started picking up this good habit and dropping this bad habit? Like one example in particular, I started... 
this. I'll give you one example in particular. I have a tendency to go on my phone for hours and hours before I actually sleep. Like I'm there scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, Reels, etc. Like so during that time, I just decided I'm gonna stop doing that. And then I was like, you know what? How about I start reading books? Like the thought just came to my head randomly. And since then, I made a point to read like at least two to three to five pages of a book every single day. Now I know that doesn't sound huge at all, but there's a lot of people that used to read books as a kid, like stop reading books when they, you know, grow up or have a job or go to college, etc. And the only books that they read are textbooks. And I was the opposite. Like I did not like reading books at all when I was a kid. And even for high school or middle school, whenever they would give assigned readings, I would just go online and search up summaries of specific chapters just for specific assignments. But I sort of wanted to inculcate a couple of good habits, including that. So I started reading books. And even though I read like five pages a day or sometimes even two pages a day, I'm always trying to read books every single day. And I felt like that was really important for me because it sort of got me distracted from using my phone all the time. And some of the books I read were pretty helpful for me personally. But at the same time, I just liked the fact that I wasn't going on my phone all the time. So I was killing two birds with one stone. So yeah, like that's something that started for me during that semester. So yeah, that was basically what this semester was for me. Like obviously a lot more happened, but I would say those for me were the highlights. It was really more of a learning experience. Yeah, that's all I could say for it. We'll see what happens with this channel. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna upload on it more. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm definitely gonna keep up this series of doing a semester review every semester because I feel that's just a really good thing for me to put out there just for me to look back on and keep myself accountable especially since it's out there in the public as well as you know if someone does happen to watch this video like if you're watching this video right now props to you i don't know how you found it and you're also able to take something away from this video that's pretty cool in my opinion so that's like the weirdest thing to say i don't even know i don't know how to i don't know how to do this anymore i guess i'll see you in the next video whenever that is yeah um really struggling to close this video out, aren't I? Alright, um, yeah, I gotta go. See ya. Peace.